It says that the disciples were terrified and affrighted. They supposed that he was a spirit. Supposed. They thought he was a spirit. It doesn't say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a spirit. And to clarify, the next few verses Jesus says in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verse number 39 and 40, he says, that behold my hands and feet. It's I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit has no flesh and bones. It was a mistake on the part of the disciples. They thought he was a spirit, which was clarified by Jesus, peace be upon him, that you check, see my hands, see my feet, and you'll come to know that I am not a spirit. So even according to that verse, it gives proof that he did not die, and he was a live body proving he was not resurrected. Hope that's it. Thank you. Yes, brother. Good evening, brother Rukmi. I am going to ask you a simple question. But it is not from the subject because you have not uh, touched the subject at all. To my knowledge, you have spoken about, I mean, many things, Bibles and uh, Paul's teaching and everything, but you have not talked more than five minutes on the subject. So whatever you have spoken, I am going to ask the question on that only. You said, Moses has written five books. The five books of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy these were written by Moses. If Moses has written the books, how he would have said that no one knows my death over against a death peer and Moses was 120 years. How is it possible? So the person, if the, because you know that the Bible is not the original English language written Bible. It is from the Koine Greek and Arabic. Aramaic, it may be. Hebrew. Hebrew and Aramaic. It is that. It is a translation. The Bible is a translation. So whatever you have written, you know, something you are, you said, two angels remove the stone. There you have written angels. In the original Greek, it is a word Zen. Zen, you have translated into angels. When it comes to the question of disciples, I mean, John's, then you said disciples. No, you are playing with the words. Now you tell me, which version of the Bible is a correct? You have different versions. And what language is the Bible is mentioned? Is, I don't think it is English. Because if I am alive... Thank you, brother. No, no. You is a put your question, question into no, it's a very sentences. Serious question. It's a very serious question. Clear. Because I have not understood anything from the uh, pastor about the subject. Because he has spoken about the Moses, Jesus and this and that. So I, am, I have to ask the question accordingly. You have to relax the rules, please. <laughs> so this is the question I am I'm going to ask you. What language is in the Bible? Whether it is English or some other language. Suppose you know, if I am alive, I am saying, speaking something like past tense, you have to explain to me what language is that. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, brother has asked a very complicated question. No, it's and, a simple uh, question. It's a simple question. And uh, one day we'll go for a chai while I'll sit together and discuss it together. Come closer. No, it's, it's a simple question. It's a simple question. If a, which version brother. is a true version and what language Moses has spoken? Moses being alive, he brother. says, I brother. was dead. Brother, and this nobody is knows my tomb. Brother. Is this is, let the audience decide whether his answer is right or wrong or whether he's given the enough answer no, no, or not. No, no. Brother, you cannot be the judge alone. No, I'm not a judge. Let he me, has given me, the let answer. Let me, you can, let me appreciate. Let me, brother. Give, no, give me only two minutes. Brother, two minutes, you can ex two He said, Bible is the mirror. <laughs> Bible is the mirror. Brother, listen. listen. Please. Brother, we appreciate your enthusiasm. We appreciate your enthusiasm. But you should understand our rules. I will repeat... 
Brother, we appreciate your enthusiasm. We appreciate the answer given by Brother Rockney. He has said, we'll discuss it with the chaiwala. You're welcome. He's, he'll pay for it also. Right, Brother Rockney? Okay, ready. That's it. May we have the next question for Dr. Zakir from the lady side? May we have the next question from the sister? Assalamu alaikum, brother. No. Uh, brother, what is the concept of Trinity and how is it related to crucifixion? F I X I O N. Yes. Sister posed a very good question that what is the concept of Trinity and how is it related to crucifixion? F I X I O N. Thank you for clarifying that. That will be difficult for me to answer. Again, Islamic viewpoint. And the biblical viewpoint, Quranic viewpoint, biblical viewpoint. Again, Quran gives the answer in Surah Maida, chapter number five, verse number seventy-three. Lakat kafr lazina kalu inna Allah salisu salasa that they are doing kufr, they are blaspheming those who say that God is three in one, that means Trinity. And in Surah Nisa, chapter four, verse one seventy-one says, Wala taqulu salasa, do not say Trinity. This has stop it. It's better for you. The word Trinity is mentioned in the Quran no less than two times. 